welcome back to a very beautiful blue skied and sunny day. This was a bit of a spontaneous vlog idea. Um, I've got Artie here with me who no doubt will drag me to the verge for some grass. Um, I thought I would do my top tips for dealing with fireworks and horses. Never a night that any horse owner particularly enjoys or any animal owner particularly enjoys. It's blue and horrible. I did say he was just going to drag me to the verge. First up when it comes to fireworks night is deciding what is best for your horse, whether that's putting them out in the field or putting them in the stable. Only you will know what's best for your horse. If you've got a horse that's never been in the stable before, then fireworks night is probably not the night to start putting them in. You just have to make a decision where your horse is most comfortable. If they are out in the field, then I think it's just logic, isn't it? And you know, you just got to make sure that all the fencing is super secure, nothing that they can injure themselves in on or run into or just as secure as you can make it make sure there's plenty of hay out there for them and really just to hang around and hopefully be around to keep an eye on them but let's be honest there's not a huge amount you can do when they're out in the field but for some horses it is the better place if like mine your horses are in at night and you keep them in for fireworks night then here are some, some of my top tips for helping keep them happy and calm through what is a pretty stressful horrible night First tip, I think, is to make sure that your horses have plenty of hay or haylage in their stable so that whatever happens, they've got something to be munching on and hopefully just keep them occupied when the fireworks are going off. And it's important to make sure you get your hay or haylage in nice and early so you're not trying to put it in there when the fireworks are going off and your horse perhaps is getting a little bit worried or nervous because when horses get stressed, you know what they're like, they're more likely to barge out or knock you over or just generally be flapping around in their stable so plenty of the yummy stuff to keep them nice and happy probably a tip that everyone will use on fireworks night is putting the radio on i like something nice and chilled on the, the old radio keeping the horses happy making sure it's on nice and loud so that hopefully just a bit of a distraction and takes away some of the loud bangs that are going up in the sky i mean it's not going to stop a horse getting stressed but i think background noise is always handy so put that radio on the next tip for helping keep your horse safe and as happy as possible on bonfire night or fireworks night is a nice deep bed so i like to really bed mine up make sure that it's deep that all the banks are up and also that you cover the whole stable and the reason being is that if you have got a horse that's kind of like you know running around getting quite stressed about the fireworks going off then you don't want them to slip so you want them to have a nice good footing with a deep bed also if they are going to slip over if they've got a soft landing it does happen when horses get really stressed and they're swinging back and forth in the stable it does happen it's not nice but it does so nice deep bedding also keep the bedding clean the cleaner it is the less likely they're going to slip because having a mare i find she does a lot of squidgy poos when she's stressed and quite often i'll notice if she is upset about something she'll stand in them it makes them slip again so keeping the bed clean is really important but nice high banks deep bed so that hopefully if they are going to run around and be a bit silly they've got a great footing Another tip for helping if you've got a particularly bad horse that can't cope with the sounds of fireworks going off is some sort of sedation or calmer. Now, there's lots of calmers you can buy online or at your tax shop, but if you think you might need something a little bit stronger, then talk to your vet because your vet could have some really good ideas and suggestions for some slightly stronger sedations that might just help get your horse through a really tricky few hours while the fireworks are going off. But I think if you know you've got a horse that's bad and really does struggle and gets very upset, then sedation may be the key to helping you. So call your vet, have a chat with them and see what they suggest. One of the things I think is actually really important to think ahead about is when to feed your horse. Now, most of us bring them in in the afternoon or the early evening and quite often they'll have a supper. However, with fireworks displays going off from any time from six onwards, I think it's really important to feed your horse a lot earlier because you absolutely don't want them eating this while there's fireworks going on and causing themselves choke or colic. So make sure they have it a good few hours before the fireworks starts. It's great, gives them stomach a bit of a lining, but you don't have to worry about them trying to eat this while they're panicking or feeling really stressed. Another helpful tip 
on fireworks night and probably something we all do is to stay with your horses now i don't think it's safe to ever go in the stable with your horse when the fireworks are going off even if they're really stressed because obviously you never know what they're going to do and you don't want to get yourself injured you've got to be safe so I think if they are in, I think it's good to be around the yard, but I tend to like to do stuff. So rather than standing right by them the whole time where horses, you know, that's not normal behavior for you to stand by your horse for like half an hour. So I think sometimes that can make horses more stressed because they're thinking, oh my gosh, what's going on? I tend to like to do stuff. Like I think it's great to be proactive. So you might kind of do a bit of sweeping up, that kind of thing. Anything that's gonna just have you busy toodling around your yard but your horse can still see you and keep an eye on you and then you can obviously go and give them any comfort or you know just go and reassure them if needed another tip for fireworks night and keeping your horse happy is to put all the lights on in your yard if your yard has plenty of lights on then it's obviously going to make the fireworks going up in the sky look less impressive and also i think there's something about nice about the horses having their lights on especially when it's dark so make sure every light is on so it takes away from the kind of impressiveness and the brightness of the fireworks that might be going up around them it may be worth looking into desensitisation with your horse. There's lots of great clips on YouTube of sound effects of fireworks. And if you start playing these maybe four or five days before fireworks, like, it may just help them deal with it that little bit better. Distraction can be key to helping keep your horse calm and chilled while the fireworks are going off so giving treats can be a great way Artie loves treats while things you know if there's things upsetting him a treat will always help however you have to be really careful again like we're saying with the hard feed you don't want to be giving them a whole apple which is like you know could cause them choke they could you know rather than chewing it try and swallow it whole i've heard of that happen a lot i've actually known horses that had to put to sleep because it sort of consumed an apple didn't bother chewing it so chop them up into lots of nice little pieces so that hopefully no choke will occur the other thing is kind of like toys so balls or this is like one of those sort of slow feed release things a lick would be a great idea i don't have one here but having a lick to put in the stable that is a, i mean horses are obsessed with them so i think that could be a great way to distract them from the fireworks going off